there's a lot of great places in the South Charlotte area, but today we're gonna to talk about our three favorite suburbs in South Charlotte. So if that's something you're interested in, stay tuned. My number one favorite is Matthews. I really like the Matthews area because it has that small downtown feel. Um, you have a lot of old historic buildings there. Um, they do a lot of family friendly events. It's, it's a super cute downtown area. I think that's what uh, a lot of people are drawn to about Matthews. Um, but it's also a great location, great accessibility. Uh, it's easy to get to uptown, not too far off of 485. So, you know, you're a quick shot out to the airport, South Charlotte, you're pretty close to um, the South Carolina border. So, but it's booming, you know, I, I think uh, last 10 years or 15 years, it, the population's almost doubled in, in Matthews. So a lot of people are moving here and it's, it's a great little suburb. I love the family friendliness of the downtown area. They have all kinds of different events for the families throughout the year. Um, one of my favorites is the Matthews Alive Festival. So you have food vendors, you have arts and crafts, um, they have rides for the kids, and that takes place um, in September. There's also a big parade, and they feature a lot of the local bands, a lot of the local cheerleading teams. I love the walkability of downtown Matthews. So living in the little downtown area, you can walk to all the different festivals that they have. Um, on every, the last Friday of every month, they have um, Beats and Bites where they have food trucks and music um, in their little downtown park called Stumptown Park. Um, they also have little ice cream shops. They have a brewery and tap room um, and they have live music on Thursday nights. There's also a little wine shop and they have live music on Friday nights. Yeah, we love heading over to Matthews after work. Um, you know, super family friendly. There's uh, Seaboard is a great spot. They've got outdoor seating with picnic tables. Uh, people bring their kids and dogs and everybody up there and they uh, you know, have wine and beer. And then the, there's a pizza place right next door called the Depot. And uh, that actually has some of the best pizza in all of Charlotte. And it's just a, a small little building um, right next door to Seaboard. But, Everybody needs to go try at least once. Uh, wood fire, it's wood fire people, right? Yep. Um, we also really love Jekyll and Hyde. It's a great restaurant. They've got awesome cocktails, really, really good food. Um, got a great patio, a little fire pit area. Of course, uh, Max Speed Shack, which is a, a well-known uh, barbecue place that was uh, founded up on South Boulevard in South End, and, and now uh, we actually have one down here in Matthews. Another thing I love about Matthews is the Saturday Farmer's Market. So you can take the kids out there um, and you have a lot of the local farmers that bring eggs and meat. Um, there's a lot of vegetables. There's also some local crafts out there. Um, I know there's a few different shops that have local honey um, and some different products made with the local honey. You also have the um, hardware store there down in the downtown area the median home price in matthews in march was four hundred and thirty two thousand dollars um, currently there's only 37 houses that are active on the market and there's 132 that are under contract so that just kind of gives you an idea of what kind of uh, we're super low on inventory really hard to find a house right now in Maine, anywhere around the charlotte metro area uh, the other thing is that homes are currently uh, getting 105% of list price. So that means they're basically going for, on average, 5% over asking. Crazy. So that brings us to our number two area in South Charlotte, and that would be Valentine. Um, one of my favorite parts of Valentine is the shopping. Um, we have some really great shopping centers with some really good boutique clothing stores. Um, my favorite is probably Blakeney. They have music out there in the summer for the kids. Um, they have a little spray ground. Um, we have a couple of pizza places where you can grab some pizza, take it out there. Um, they have a nice grassy area where the kids can run around and play. 
the adults can have a couple drinks, listen to the music. Um, they also have a few good restaurants over there. I would say the number one is probably Burton's. So they have some really great food there, really great drinks, really cute little patio area where you can sit outside. So Valentine has a lot of great restaurants. That's what I really like about the Valentine area. Uh, there's Cabo Fish Taco over there, which uh, is fairly new. Zinicola is a really great Italian restaurant right there in the Valentine Village. Uh, the Valentine Village is kind of a neat, uh, sort of a unique outdoor shopping. There, there's a movie theater there. There's Jade Asian Fusion, um, Black Fins. Um, My Mel kid's favorite is Mellow Mushroom. Yeah, Mellow Mushroom yeah. is a great spot right there. Um, so they're doing a lot of uh, redevelopment of the Valentine golf course actually which they've recently closed and now uh, there's this development uh, project in the works a huge construction project where it's going to be mixed use there's going to be a thousand new residents i believe those are going to be apartment style type properties um, there's going to be restaurants breweries uh, and there is going to be some corporate uh, development as well so another thing that people really love about the Valentine area is, is the it's it's got the top rated schools in the state. So Valentine, we're going to call Valentine 28277, basically a South Charlotte area, which consists of Valentine and Blakeney, Stonecrest area. Uh, they feed into Audrey Kell High School, which is rated one of the number one schools in the state of North Carolina. Another great place to visit in Valentine is the Valentine Resort hotel and spa. I have gotten a few gift certificates to the spa um, for some different holidays and they offer everything from nails and hair to massages um, to all day packages. Um, it's a great place to go for a staycation. Um, you can spend the night there at the hotel. Um, they have a great restaurant and then spend the day getting different spa services. So that brings us to the number three suburb in the South Charlotte area, Waxhaw. Waxhaw is one of my favorites, and I would say that it would be number one on my list, except for the fact that it is about 20 miles south of Charlotte. So commute-wise, that's gonna take you about 50 minutes to an hour if you're working in the downtown area. Um, Waxhaw is located in Union County, and it's actually one of the oldest communities down in the Union County area. Um, they still have a lot of old historic buildings. They have a train that runs through the center of downtown. Um, Waxhaw is great as far as crime. It's well below the average for violent and property crime. So it's a very safe area to live. Um, the quaint little downtown area has a few really good restaurants, um, a little brewery called Dreamcatchers. Um, they also have a lot of family-friendly events and activities that go on throughout the year. Um, they have music right there in the downtown area by the railroad tracks. I believe they have that once a month in the summertime. They also have a huge festival called the Art and Kaleidoscope Festival, and that features food, arts, crafts, music for the kids. Waxhaw is fairly new in terms of its popularity over the last 10 years. It's actually doubled, nearly doubled in size from 10,000 to almost 20,000 uh, residents um, since 2010. Um, so you'll find a lot of the homes and a lot of the neighborhoods down there are only 10 to 15 years old, um, which is great. Uh, there's typically a little bit more property down there. Um, you can get larger lots. You know, even though it is far away from uh, uptown Charlotte, it does have a lot of the amenities that you would want uh, to have close to you. So they have the Waxhaw Freestanding Emergency Department there and they are fully equipped to handle any type of emergency. And if there's something that they can't handle, they do actually have a helicopter pad there so that they can airlift to the main hospital in Charlotte. You also have some variety of grocery stores there. I believe you have an Aldi and a Harris Teeter. Um, there's a, a Home Depot and a Lowe's down there. Um, so you do have some shopping right there in your general area. So you don't have to travel into Charlotte for everything. So fun fact about Waxhaw, Pixar songwriter Kristen Anderson Lopez used to live in Waxhaw. 
and she wrote all the songs for the famous Pixar movie Frozen. Yeah, so all in all, Waxhaw is a great option if you are thinking about uh, making a move to the Charlotte area. It, it's worth checking out. Um, it's got that very small town, laid back, uh, casual atmosphere. And it does feel a little bit rural. Um, there is still some farmland that's uh, remaining, although you are still close to a lot of the conveniences and amenities that you would want to have uh, near your residence. So highly recommend Waxhaw. And we're going to be doing more videos uh, each week. Hopefully you guys have been enjoying our content. If you do, please go ahead and uh, like our channel and uh, you can hit the subscribe button as well. Uh, that way you're notified each and every time we put out a new video. And we're going to be putting out videos twice a week, all about what it's like to work, sleep, eat, live and play in the Charlotte metro area. So we hope to see you next time.